Hey, hey, hey there, it's Anwar Shrat here, and I want to welcome you to the first training video of No Bouncing. First of all, congratulations for grabbing No Bouncing. Now you can make your WordPress websites 100% leak proof. And if you have got our unfair advantage upgrade, then not only WordPress, but all of your websites, let's say, HTML websites, PHP websites, even your lead pages or unbounced websites can also be 100% leak proof. Okay. Now the first, so the first thing first, you need to install the plugin into your WordPress site, and just like any other plugin, you're gonna see a logo or let's say uh, no bounce redirect on the left hand side menu right here. So first thing first, you need to click no bounce redirect, and then you have to activate the plugin using the username and the password that we have sent you via email that's the first thing you need to do after you do that you will see a dashboard that looks just like this in case you haven't received your username the password please make sure you visit askankit.com that is a s k a n k i t dot com but since you're watching this video you're probably already under this training area right here or you are inside your wordpress members area which means you already have your username and the password and that is exactly what you need to use to activate the plugin all right so that's that's pretty pretty much it and now since that's out of our way let's directly dive into how no balancing works okay so this is the first video and in this video i'm going to show you how it works on wordpress and i'm going to discuss all three features that is the back button feature exit pop-up feature and exit intent feature in the next video i'm going to go through the html feature and then i'm going to talk a bit about how the whole thing works okay so let's start with the back button feature it's really really simple like we have claimed and now you will see how simple it it is all right now we have given you option to enter three different URLs and enter three different times over here okay which means you can enter three different URLs for your WordPress blog and three different times which will basically activate and deactivate the script automatically but if you just want to have one URL you can do that as well so what this will do is when someone visits your websites and irrespective of when they hit the back button all right if they do that if they hit the back button they will land to this URL okay but you need to make sure you keep everything over here blank and everything over here blank okay so that that's that's pretty much it I mean you're done if you just want to have this kind of setup I want to show you how this works oh one more thing if you just want to have the back button feature on your website then you need to make sure your exit pop-up and exit intent is deactivated so right now I'm deactivating all you know exit pop-up and exit intent and I'm only gonna keep the back button feature right now okay now this is deactivated and I'm gonna show you how this neat little thing works so I'm gonna to go to Google so that you will get a very very clear picture of how this works and how powerful this is and I'm gonna search for my blog I am fellow as you can see we have I am fellow right when I click this I'm taken to my blog right now under usual circumstances when you don't have a no bounce and plugin installed uh, in your WordPress blog if I hit the back button I should be taken back to Google right but since we have the new bounce and since we have this feature activated when I hit the back button I'm taken to this particular Amazon product now how cool is that all right and that is pretty much it that's all you need to do but in case you want to have three different URLs for your site then this is the kind of setup you would want to go with I'm gonna enter 10 seconds over here so this means when a, when your site visitors come to your website and stay for less than 10 seconds they're going to be taken to this particular link but they, if they but if they exceed 10 seconds and if you keep all this blank nothing's going to happen when they hit the back button they're going to go back to wherever they came from but you don't want that to happen so what you will do is you will enter some other url i'm just entering facebook.com here just for fun I'm going to make this 60 seconds. I'm going to enter a third URL. 
and I'm going to make it YouTube.com and I'm going to make this 90 seconds. So it's pretty simple. Uh, what this setup right here means is that when a visitor hits the back button in between 10 seconds and 60 seconds, they're going to go to Facebook.com and if they exceed 60 seconds but are on your website for less than 90 seconds and hit the back button, they're going to go to YouTube. But if you want to keep this last link active forever, all you have to do is keep this blank. That is it. So I'm going to hit the save changes and that is pretty much it. Back button is all covered. Okay. So if you want to see once again how this works, I'm going to show this to you. I'm going to imfellow.com. All right, and you already seen that if I hit the back button within 10 seconds, I'm taken to Amazon product, but I'm gonna wait for 10 seconds. All right, now I'm gonna hit the back button and I'm taken to facebook.com. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, one more thing, I have to enter the URL with HTTPS instead of www, all right? So we're gonna try this once again. My bad, I'm sorry. Oops. We're gonna be here for 10 seconds. Right, it's 10 seconds now and I'm going to hit the back button and I'm taking to facebook.com right similarly if I wait for uh, for more than 60 seconds and hit the U and hit the back button I'll be taken to youtube.com that's pretty much it now let's move on to exit pop-up feature now with the exit pop-up feature it's really very simple you have to enter a redirection URL right here and all you have to do is have a neat little message okay so I'm gonna activate this script and I'm gonna have this Amazon product and I'm gonna de and I'm gonna save changes right here and I'm gonna deactivate the back button feature well I can keep the back button feature as well in fact let me keep the back button feature the way it is because it's not gonna interrupt our exit pop-up anyway all right, and I'm going to go to IamFellow.com. Okay, it's loaded. Now, when I hit the exit, I'm going to see this. This page is asking me to confirm. When I hit the stay on page, I'm taken to this Amazon product. As simple as that. Now, I'm going to deactivate this, and I'm going to deactivate the back button feature, and then we will move to the exit intent feature. Of no bouncing now with the exit intent feature we have given you two different options okay now if you can code beautiful HTML all right then we recommend you use the custom HTML uh, feature of exit intent of, of, the, of this exit intent feature all right but if you don't want to create an HTML code or get it created you can simply use the no bounds exit intent feature where you can simply upload an image enter a headline a subheadline it's just the pop-up height and the width you know have a pop-up delay if you wish we recommend you keep it zero zero seconds and then you simply enter the opt-in form. It can be Aweber, MailChimp, GetResponse, SendLane, any autoresponder really, okay? And you save changes. But if you know how to create custom HTML or if you can get it created, it is really very cheap to get it created. You can actually get it done for five or 10 bucks on Fiverr. Uh, so if you wanna do that, you simply enter the custom HTML code over here and hit save changes. Oh, of course, you need to make sure that Exit Intent Script is activated. 
Okay, it's saved now. I'm going to go to imfellow.com. All right, and now when I try to go, I have my exit intent pop up email sign up. So, this is how powerful No Bounce In is. So, not only it you know covers your back button and the exit button, but also gives you an option to show your visitors something when they're trying to leave. Now, you know, please try to understand the power of this because we have given you this custom HTML option. It need not be a web form. It can be anything really. It can be a video. It can be uh, a CPA banner or anything for that matter. Okay, you can really have anything over here. But if you don't want to have it, if you don't want to use custom HTML, you simply click No Bounce Exit Intent, and it's not really going to look that pretty, of course, because you know it is just a very very simple thing. You have this headline, subheadline. You can you know adjust the height and width and all that cool stuff and enter the open form code. Of course, if you are using AWeb or, or get response, they allow you to use CSS and other cool stuff to beautify your opt-in form. So you can do that, of course. So I'm gonna hit save changes. And I'm gonna reload the site. All right, now when I go and try to exit, this is how my exit intent is gonna look like. Headline, subheadline, a photo, name and email address. All right, that's pretty much it. This is the these are the features of no balancing back button, exit pop up, and exit intent. I'm going to discuss about the HTML feature in the next video. Thank you for watching, and make sure you watch the next video if you have grabbed our uh, unfair advantage upgrade because it's really really very simple to use, and you can really make all of your websites not just your wordpress websites but any type of websites be it html php a website created using optimized press or lead pages unbounce insta pages or anything really you can secure your websites and if you haven't grabbed the upgrade well you can still do that from within our members area thank you again see you in the next video